Let's continue reading Titus 2.2. 2. Teach the older men to exercise self-control, to be worthy of respect, and to live wisely. To live wisely. Men, it's not wise to be alone with the female that is not your wife. It is not wise for me to take a female co-worker to lunch. Just not wise. It's not wise for me to drink and drive. It's not wise for me to light of the Holy Spirit. You guys remember what happened to Ananias and Sapphira? It's not wise for me to mistreat my wife. God said that my prayers would be hindered. So what are examples of living a wise life? James chapter 3, verse 13 and 17. 13 says, If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, by doing good, I'm sorry, by doing good works, with the humility that comes from wisdom. Verse 17, But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, it is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and is willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism, and it is always sincere. So men, living wisely means that we live honorable lives. Living wisely means that we do good deeds. We're humble. We're peacemakers. We show no favoritism. We're gentle. We're willing to yield. What would our marriages look like if we just yield? We're merciful and we're, we're sincere. How can I get this wisdom? James 1 5. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. So a healthy church is full of men who live wisely. 